We're headed on our road trip to Bavaria on a very cloudy day. We rented a car, which is very high tech, has all the bells and whistles. We're gonna take the long drive down and stop in Nuremberg. We made it to Bavaria, but more importantly, we made it to our hotel. Afterwards, we wanted to explore a little. We passed the giant extravagant Hop on Hop, or main station here, and it seemed like the platforms went on forever. The city wall is one of the most important art and architectural monuments in the city, and it surrounds the old town of Nuremberg. I noticed right away that they started setting up for the upcoming Christmas markets. It isn't officially open yet, but luckily some stands were open and we got to try our first Glühwein of the season. We even tried out a Nuremberg specialty, an Eilesen Liebkuchen, which is just a chocolate covered gingerbread cookie. Then we headed back to the hotel for the night to plan our route for the next day. Before we get started with the video, I just wanted to mention that we were required to show our vaccination passes before entering indoor tour attractions or restaurants. And we wore our FFP2 mask when it was mandatory. Now back to the video. Stopped at a bakery to grab some breakfast. Now we're on our way to a museum to see what they have. We made it to the German National Museum, so let's go see what's inside. This museum was founded in 1852. It houses a large collection of items related to German culture and art, which extends from prehistoric times to the present day. The Germanisch National Museum is Germany's largest museum of cultural history. Out of its total holdings of some 1.3 million objects, approximately 25,000 are exhibited. As a research and educational institution of international standing, the collections, exhibitions, and publications present the cultural history of the German-speaking countries in an international and interdisciplinary approach. The work of the institution is guided by the principle of respect for all cultures, so that all human beings can understand what the museum communicates, regardless of their upbringing, education, and religious beliefs. Overall, the museum had a ton to see. We spent about two hours there, and now we're going to head into the Old Town. Nuremberg is the second largest city in Bavaria, after its capital Munich, and as of 2019, the 14th largest city in Germany. And I think they have the most unique ooh entrances. This is also known as the chain bridge. The bridge has two spans of 33 meters each with a total length of 68 meters that stretches across the river Pegnitz. St. Sebald is a medieval church. Along with the Frauenkirche and St. Lorenz, it is one of the most important churches of the city and also is one of the oldest. We're about halfway through our tour and we're both pretty hungry from all that walking. Luckily, there's a conveniently placed restaurant where we can grab something to eat. Just finished our lunch, it was super good. I had delicious pumpkin soup. We're gonna try to visit the Kaiser Castle and then finish our tour. To get to this castle, there's quite an incline. The Kaiserberg, or Imperial Castle, is the symbol of Nuremberg and is located atop a rocky ridge above the city. From the observation platform of the Simwell Tower, at a height of 385 meters, visitors are offered a panoramic view of the entire city. You'll see that most of these stones have holes in them because they use giant tongs to lift them up so they could build the wall. On to the rest of the tour of the town. I honestly went there for the fries because they were home style thinking they'd be different, but they weren't awesome and kind of under seasoned. So didn't even eat it all. Well, we completed the full tour around Nuremberg and now we're taking a path back to our hotel where the moat once was. We are finishing our time in Nuremberg at the Memoriam Nuremberg Trials. This exhibition is about the post-World War II Nuremberg Trials of the Nazi war criminals. The Nuremberg Trials, which took place here in courtroom number 600, were a series of military tribunals held following World War II by the Allied forces under international law and the laws of war. The trials were most notable for the prosecution of prominent members of the political, military, judicial, and economic leadership of Nazi Germany. The trials were held in Nuremberg, and their decision marked the turning point between classical and contemporary international law. Well, that was sure educational, but now it's off to Munich. 
I finally got myself a pretzel. Oh, wow. It is full of butter. I wasn't expecting that. They literally just cut it in half and then smothered butter in it. 